Hi there, welcome back to SV Handmaids and this is Shiba Vivek. So if you are new here, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of my new videos. If you like crafting and is really interested to try out making a t-shirt yourself, Dollar Store is the first go-to place. So let's review uh, and see how to work on these dollar store um, fabric uh, transfers and um, find out if it's really worth buying them so these iron on transfers have all the instructions at the back um, but the only thing which i find here is um, they have only smaller sizes so for an adult t-shirt this would be really small so but uh, for a first to try to see if it really works this is a good option so i just got this one which is but first coffee so this um, transfer has a plastic clear sheet on the top and back side is the actual um, vinyl that's going to stick on your t-shirt and they also come along with the parchment sheet so if it doesn't have one, then you have to use a parchment paper from your home. So the um, this one has a parchment paper. So before you iron them, you have to place the parchment paper on top of your transfer and then iron on top of it. And I got this t-shirt also from the dollar store. So it's good enough for our practice and trials. So make sure there are no creases or any lint or anything. Uh, make sure the fabric is nice and smooth warm it up nicely so when your fabric is warm enough it is easier for the transfer to um, stick properly and well so make sure the fabric is nice and warm and then you start with your transfer so a rule of thumb is about four inches from the neckline so depending on the size of your transfer you can reduce a little more down you can move it a little down so i'm placing it around at the four inches mark so this since this is a very small you cannot move it too much uh, below the neckline so i left about four inches and then using your iron give firm pressure and don't move it don't move your iron like you're ironing just you have to press and lift up and this is this is a dollar store transfer uh, it might not be of a very good quality so you have to uh, make trial and errors you have to just see how it works so don't heat the iron up too much so as you can see already the plastic is trying to warp a good quality uh, vinyl if you use heat transfer vinyl it will never warp like this you can see the plastic trying to lose shape even before the um, transfer is adhering to the t-shirt so since this was my first try with the dollar store transfer so i think the heat from my iron is a little too much for it so you will get to know this only by trying it out so i kept it at cotton setting so maybe you can reduce a little bit reduce the heat and keep it longer so a good quality vinyl will just hardly take um, 30 seconds to um, make it stick well. So I, when I was seeing the edges were not uh, sticking properly so I tried to um, keep it a little longer so that the vinyl doesn't come out. So the transfer is because uh, even after the wash it shouldn't be coming out. So I tried to do some extra press. And uh, this one, uh, they have recommended to remove the plastic carrier sheet only after it is completely cool. So there are different kind of uh, transfers. Some may be a cold peel, some uh, have to be removed when they are warm. But here the instruction says um, to peel it only after it's completely cool. So now it's completely cooled down. It's not warm anymore. Let's peel off the carrier sheet. It's pretty good. Um, nice um, adherence to the fabric. Only thing I notice is at some places the shape of the actual design has disoriented a bit. Uh, the shape has changed from exact rectangle. In some places it has bulged out. 
otherwise um, it's okay for the first try it's pretty good and good for practicing so and i even washed this fabric so nothing happened to the uh, uh, transfer it is all pretty good so it's good enough for trying just that you have to reduce heat and keep it at low setting to dry it out first thank you for watching see you soon with the next video